Okay, welcome to Tetris Effect. This is the first level called The Deep in the journey mode. Looks like we're at the bottom of the ocean here, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to be playing with an Xbox One S controller, and that's because I tried using the Valve Index controllers, but to be honest, it just didn't feel right. You had to uh, use the, uh, the pill, sort of little touch pads, or you could use the thumbsticks, but you had to click them in, and we do know that that is troublesome <laughs> with the Valve Index. So I ended up resorting to using an Xbox One S controller, which feels way better because it's got a D-pad. And of course, a game like this is way better with a D-pad. So I would recommend playing with an Xbox One X S controller or like a PS4 controller. Should be absolutely fine. Um, but as you can see, as we're building up and clearing blocks, there's more wildlife appearing around me and the music is slowly starting to sort of ramp up and you've got these beautiful particle effects around us as well. Uh, of course this is the very first level so I'm sure things will get better but let's clear this whole stack here see what happens. Oh yeah that's super nice. Yeah the effects are great. And of course, you can play this with any PC VR headset from the Epic Games Store. But if you're using the Valve Index, of course you've got this lovely audio system that's going to make the experience a pleasure for the ears. Really sort of trying to stack these up. And I know that people out there that play Tetris regularly are probably going to be cursing me in the comments. That's fine, I don't mind being a noob. Here we go. Beautiful! Wow! Look at these stingrays. That's great. Oh, now I'm super distracted by everything that's going on around me. Wow, this is beautiful! And the music is really kicking in now. See if we can stack it up again for another epic run. And it probably doesn't do this justice watching this on a screen. But of course now if I look down, I'm moving further away from the seabed. It does look really great in the headset. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Kind of like put myself in a bit of a hole here. See if I can dig my way out of this one. Although I have just done it again. There we go. Whoa, things are getting crazy up in here. Oh, wow. It's like an audio visual treat. Very cool. I remember playing the demo on the PSVR. Um, but I just really wanted to play it on a PC headset. You know, with the extra clarity. And of course, if you don't own a PC headset, uh, it doesn't matter. You can play this on a traditional monitor, and that's going to be still a great experience because you can play this in up to 4K, <laughs> which is pretty impressive. I have kind of done my own legs here a little bit. Okay, let's try and let's try and get this back on track here. It's not really what I needed or wanted, to be honest. 
This will do just fine, though. Oh, hit, what's happening now? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's like playing Tetris is like riding a bike. You know, no matter how long it's been since you've played it, you never forget. You never forget. You know, push up on the D-pad to slam those blocks down. Create those epic combos. That is Tetris. 30 years on, it's still a great experience. And I just messed that up royally. How did I do that? Oh my god. I was too busy talking to you lot rather than concentrating on what I'm supposed to be doing. I think this is the thing about Tetris. Like, everyone has a memory of playing Tetris as a kid. Like, everyone played it. If you didn't play it, let me know, because everyone I know played Tetris as a kid. It was like a Game Boy Classic. You you had a Game Boy and you had Tetris. That Like, it was given. I remember being a kid and sitting in a McDonald's and seeing someone un like unbox a Game Boy which they'd just got for their birthday. And it was the first time I ever saw a Game Boy. I didn't even know what a Game Boy was. Because, of course, unless your mates had one or you got like a gaming magazine or something as a kid, you didn't know what these things were. And I just remember being like absolutely amazed that there was this like gaming device in this tiny little box and then I just had to have one. Because of course I had a computer, I had like a Commodore 64, I was like one of those like PC kids. Uh, but it's because I didn't know any different, of course. I didn't know there were like consoles out there, so... Never really had an Atari. But yeah, those classic Game Boy days. Simpler times, they were. <laughs> Felt like so old. You don't know, back in the day, they were the good days. <laughs> These are, of course, great days for gaming as well. No one cared about resolutions back then, though, or frame rates. They didn't even have color screens. It was all about the game. That's what it should be like today. It should all be about the games. I really do feel like an old man now, waxing lyrical to you guys. But I'm just kind of like in this like little zen mode right now. Feeling super chill. It's almost like, you know, when you go for a massage or something, you just like... Your mind goes somewhere else. You just relax. Although this is starting to get stressful now. <laughs> I joke. No, you just kind of relax, get into the game. Forget about what's going on in the world. Who's the local prime minister or president? <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about if you live in the UK. And just unwind. That's what it's all about. Oh, I totally messed that up. I was in a chill state of mind until I completely did my own legs there. See if I can bring this one back. Oh, my word. This is going to take some epic Tetris skills to bring this one back from the brink. Although, that was a pretty good move, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, I should use this mode more often. This is like the, the the zoom in mode where you can sort of recalibrate. Things are going a bit wrong in your Tetris life. You can just take a breath, slow things down, get things back on track. I like it. Zone bonus. Hell to the yeah. I'm pretty sure this video isn't going to do this game justice because it really is super chill, almost hypnotic. That's kind of how it feels. It's making me feel good because I haven't messed up royally yet. I haven't failed a level yet, which is kind of cool. 
Oh, hello, little dolphins. You're extremely cool. Oh, I'm loving the dolphins. This is the thing, I'm being distracted now. But it's a good distraction. Yeah, let's get our groove on, my little dolphin buddies. Yes. Oh, crap. Things, oh, crap. Things are getting very fast up in here. Very fast up in here. Come on, dolphins. Come on, buddies. We can do this together. Oh, crap. Holy guacamole. Ah! Ooh. Together! Oh! No! Oh, it's go it is going wrong. It is going wrong up in here right now. Help me, dolphins! Help! Just... Oh, crap. Come on, dolphin buddies, please. I need you. Oh. Ah! Okay, let's slow this down. Let's try and redeem ourselves a bit here. Things are not working out as planned. Chuck that there. Oh, God. Oh. The dolphins are happy. Jump! Jump! <laughs> yes! Jump, my dolphin chums! We are at one with the blocks! That's how it feels right now. It's like the Matrix, I can just- I just see blocks now. The birds are happy. The dolphins are happy. I'm happy. Hope you're happy. This is beautiful. Yes! Be free! Beautiful! <laughs> that was awesome!